Hey guys, and we are back. So, here begins when this fight actually starts working well. My archers move over into this um, funnel and just begin laying down a lot of archer fire while what doesn't get taken out by archers get chopped up by the melee unit. Um, this is when I see my Yari Ashigaru guys are hanging out. I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Do I, if I attack them or not. Uh, who knows? Yes, close up look. But this is this is where it really turns out well, with the archers shooting down at them as they uh, move in to fight like this. This is the only time I find that these castles are actually useful is when it funnels the troops in like this. But other than this, I find for the most part these castles to be quite useless. The, the outer walls, anyways. But I guess I will have to see more, too, as I get the bigger castles. Since this is this is only the... Uh, second upgrade, I think. So, I haven't actually seen how impressive the castles in this game can be just yet. Oh, I enjoy watching this funnel, though. It, it just worked. When it started working, it worked really well. And just let them all get chopped down. <laughs> they're, they're about to run away in fear right now. Uh, also, so this begins um, the final video of the re-recorded videos. After this, it will start back up of me just um, recording as I play, instead of uh, having to go back and re-record. Which is good, because that means I finally get to go back and start playing the game. It's been almost uh, two days, or a day and a half or something like that, that I have not been able to play the game, because um, when my computer is uh, rendering these files, it can't do anything. Uh, I tried playing the game with them rendering, and it, it just doesn't do anything. Uh, so... On the day you actually see this video, because I have a couple of videos that I still need to upload to YouTube, so by the time you actually see this video, I should be posting quite a few videos, um, I would say on Monday. There will be a, a lot of videos coming Monday. Uh, <clears throat> and it looks like here their main force has, is running in terror or is dead. And then, I really liked this. They have one group of Yari Ashigaru who just decided to sit back while everybody else ran and fought to their death. So, so soon enough I will be moving over and just crushing, crushing their poor excuse of troops. Uh, so some other things to talk about while they slowly walk over there. Um, hmm. Oh, yes, and I left those guys to just be shot by arrows. I guess I never once moved the Yari Ashigaru into some place that would make them useful. Uh, what was I saying now? Oh, yes, uh... Don't know. I think I'll have a glass of water while I think. Ah, tasty water. <clears throat> That's my my jug of water that I have currently. Um So what's going on now? Yes, everybody is charging out to kill the Yari Ashigaru that are just standing out there. And I think 
Yeah, and this time the the bowmen just continued to shoot my Yariashigar. Or, I think I put my bowmen over there to fire back at their, their bowmen at some point. So, yes, excellent. I finally decide to move the Yariashigar to some place that doesn't have them just being shot to death. So that's good. And mighty charge of the oh I sent the uh, samurai retainers in first here to take the most damage since they just respawn at full whenever the keep is attacked but I think in the end it doesn't really matter too much since uh, after this there's there's currently no conflict in my my clan I won't have to deal with um, any the the Mori clan have been bashed back to their country or not country I guess they're they're not called countries but they seem like countries like it's all in Japan but each clan owns t these territories so they're brought back to their territories and uh, my group has only one one thing left to deal with and that is going to finally after all of these videos after all this time of wanting to go fight the Miyoshi clan after this we may just begin the fight against the Miyoshi clan <laughs> it's taken a lot of turns to get there a lot of turns to get to the point to finally crush the Miyoshi clan but it's going to happen I, I know I've said that before and Things have come up that have stopped that, but this this time, it will happen, and the Miyoshi clan will be taken out. And there you go, the end of the pathetic siege. That was their their pathetic attempt to take over the castle. Um, and for some reason we're back at the trade boat. Oh, I think they attacked on their turn. So then, on my turn, I had to go all of the way back. Oh, speaking of the Date clan, uh, one of my favorite people who are doing Let's Plays is playing as them, and I would highly suggest, if you are already not watching um, Joseph V. Stalin's videos, you should go and watch them. He only posts them on his website. He stopped posting videos on YouTube. Um, put a video up explaining why, but I kind of forget. Something going on with YouTube taking... Oh yeah, YouTube took down his whole Let's Play series. Anyways, um, I would highly suggest going and watching his series. Uh, it is... He, he does a really good job of doing Let's Plays. I even will uh, put a link in the description of this video uh, linking off to his site, because I would... Highly suggest watching his his let's play is quite good, um, and he is playing as the Date clan. And I think on my campaign though, I won't really see that clan very much. Uh, most after the Miyoshi clan is dead, uh, we probably won't even go up in that direction. And so someone ended up taking uh, that trading post before I got there. So I just kind of send my trading boat to go explore, since there's no other purpose for the trading boats than um, to go to those little trading bases. So the boats just kind of get to explore the whole island, and that's when I see that this purple clan, the U Usagi, Usagi, I don't know, their clan is probably one of the biggest ones on the island right now. They control a huge amount of the country. Um, they have a lot of enemies in between me and them, up with the Date clan and the clan next to the Date. And then I think the clan that owns a lot of the center territory would be the Hattori clan. Um, they control most of that. Uh, they're about to take out... A green clan? I don't know what the green clan is. Um, 
So that's the army that wiped out the Mori, the, the attack from the Mori clan. And so here, I exempted them from province tax because uh, the public order is really bad when you take your people out of a town you just conquest, even though I just own the town, I have to leave some troops there to keep the peace since it's a newly taken town. I don't know why they're so mad at me since uh, I was only out of there for just a couple of turns. Well, I guess a couple of turns is a year. So I left the clan on its own for a year, or to be controlled by the Mori clan. Taking it like that, I, I can actually kind of see why they would be mad. So if, if uh, a couple of turns are a year that they were in control of the Mori clan, then I would see see why they would be upset that they were just sort of left there. And so now we can see the um, that that clan has managed to... Uh, the Kikawa clan. Uh, the, we're looking at the Mori clan right now, and the Mori clan has managed to take some from... Uh, I can't remember the clan, but it's that clan there in the enemies that has the little four points on it. Uh, they have actually declared war with everyone. Not everyone, but everyone around them. They're at war with the Mori clan, the... Uh, Kikawa clan, they're at war with the Takeda clan, I think, and the Hattori clan, they're at war with the Ido clan, the, okay, there it shows, so they're at war with the, uh, uh, the Blue clan, I forgot their name, the Hattori clan, the Mori clan, the Shogunate, and that Black Swirl one, and... So they're they're going to be getting wiped out fairly quickly, and I guess they're not at war with the Ido clan. Um, and nobody wants to trade with me. Nobody. I ask every single one of these guys if anyone wants to trade with me, and none of them do. And I don't think they want to until um, my power becomes strong. Right now my power is weak because I've had all these wars to deal with. And getting crushed by the Moria clan in the beginnings of the war. So then I finally build up a bit and everybody's like, we'll trade with you. We don't want to have anything to do with you. But right now, because I'm pretty sure it's because my power is weak, they're like, ha, ah, we're not going to trade with you. We're thinking about coming in and invading you, but that that doesn't quite happen. I don't quite piss off everyone, even though they all say indifferent. Just because my power is weak, they they just don't want to do anything with it. Oh, and that shows off the Hatori. See, so the Hatori own quite a bit of the center. I'm not sure who's right next to him, but I know on the other side to the right there is that Usagi clan. And this is just me going, asking everybody, I really want to trade. And everybody's like, ha ha ha, no trading for you. And it kind of put me at worry that, um... Oh, and so, um... Peace happens with the Mori clan, I think. This is either them asking for peace or me asking for them for peace. Um, I I think this is them asking for peace, actually. And I accept it since I don't want to be at war with the Mori clan anymore. Anyways, continued in part 18.